It's race day, everyone. Today we're gonna show you how to make a balloon-powered car. Kids love things that move. The balloon-powered car is a great way to let your kids flex those creative muscles and teach them a little bit about energy. Let's go. Today we're gonna make our very own balloon-powered cars. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Cardboard tube, construction paper, markers, hot glue gun and glue, scissors, plastic bottle caps, wooden skewers, regular straws, tape, wide smoothie straw, rubber bands, balloons. All right guys, so the first step we need to do is we need to take our tube and we're gonna decorate it, okay? So decide together what color do you want your car to be? Blue. Do some blue. So Benjamin, you want to cut it out? See if you can get it to go all the way around that. Let's see. Can I help uh -huh. him? Yeah. Will you help him hold it in place? Here, like that. There you go. Good job. Finished. Good job. All right, Rachel. Do you want to attach it? it? Yeah. It's like wrapping presents, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> One person holds it. The other person tapes. Can I cut a little more? If you want to. If you guys want to draw something on it, you can. Put a name on it. You can name your car. What is something that's fast? I'm naming fast. What are you naming it? Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. That's a good name. You can turn that. There you go. Uh huh. Do you remember how to spell? What er sound? You are you. Good. Yo. Uh huh. Ooh, I like it, Rachel. It's a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Nice, cute. Benjamin. Very nice. That's cute. I like him. There's a snail. Is his name Turbo or is the car's name Turbo? Snail. Snail is Turbo. After you've done that, the next step is making the wheels. Okay guys, so and now that we've decorated your car, you're gonna create wheels. And how you do it is you take the bottle caps, you each need two of them, and I already punctured them for you. You're gonna take a straw, choose a color. Each of you, one of you gets to do the front, one of you gets to do the back. The front. And you're gonna cut it in half. So take the scissors, cut it in half. Exactly in half. Mm-hmm, looks good. Actually, yours and Benjamin's probably need to be even. To see, since so you're gonna be using I have a longer one. I have a longer one. But I can trim a little longer. Because you don't want your wheels uneven. And they probably won't roll very well. Next, you're going to take your skewer and cut it down. You're gonna take a bit of straw and make sure that the straw is shorter than your skewer. You're gonna slide it onto your skewer. Then you're gonna attach the other wheel, like so. Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and glue that side. And now you have a set of wheels ready to attach to your car body. Put a little dab of hot glue on the car body and attach your wheels. Once you have one set of wheels made, you can make your other. And then you're just gonna wait for it to dry. Hey guys, good job on the wheels. Now that our wheels are done, we are going to create what is gonna give the car power, okay? Do you guys ready for some power? We need some power for our car. So what we need to do is, Benjamin, will you pass the balloons? Can I have a blue one. And I want to. Go. How about yeah? And then what color straw I should we believe. use? I want one. Okay. Can we do a blue? Oh, one? how about you choose the smoothie straw? Mm. You want the purple? And then Benjamin, we need a rubber band. Pass one of those to Mama. I choose the rubber band. Mama might need. I'll just get blue. That works. Mm -hmm. Shades of blue. All right, Rachel. So we're gonna put this on the smoothie straw put the balloon, and this is what's gonna give your car power. Pull, up? Uh, pull it up a little more, like, here, I'll hold it straight for you. Probably about right there, because we wanna leave some room for the air to come through, but we do want it down far enough. All right, you guys mind if mama helps you with this part? Yeah. You're gonna take the rubber band and wrap it around the end of the smoothie straw until it's nice and secure to keep your balloon in place. Then, you're going to take the straw and you're gonna to wanna to tape it around the body of your car. Make sure that there's enough sticking off the end so that you can blow air through your straw. 
Once your smoothie straw is in place, your car is ready to go. Okay guys, now that you've finished your car, let's take a little mini test. Benjamin, you wanna blow in it and see if it goes? There you go. And now set it down and see. There, that's gonna work! Woohoo! <laughs> Besides being super fun, building a balloon-powered car can also challenge your children with more creative thinking. You can ask them things like, how can you make your car better? How can you make it faster? If you blow more air into it, will it go a longer distance? These are all ways to get their brains thinking like engineers. This is a great way to challenge your children and what more could a parent ask for? Once your kids have made and tested their cars, you're ready for a race. Who's gonna win? Me! Yeah. Who's got the fastest Me. car? Me! I'm, I'm gonna, gonna win. Three, two, one. Today we did a super fun activity and got to make balloon powered cars. The easiest part of this activity I think was racing the car. My kids love a challenge and they love to have some competition, so they had a lot of fun actually putting their cars in motion and racing one another. We hope you and your family enjoyed making and racing balloon powered cars. Let us know in the Show Me How community how it went for your family in the comments below. Thanks for watching.